Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and lately I've been designing the cover for a book and the book is on poetry and I wanted to have some of the original documents uh, as part of the, uh, the, the picture and the graphics on the front of the book. But I wanted them to look old because they are old but they don't look old. So uh, I went on the uh, YouTube and I looked everywhere on how to take a document and make it look old. I couldn't find anything. I found where you could create a document and make it look old or you could tint a photo but you couldn't take a regular old document like you see on the screen here and uh, and make it look like it was weathered and old and on a newsprint and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, since nobody else has it, I'll, I'll figure out how to do it and put one up. So that's what this is about. We're going to make this document here look aged. It actually is old, but it just hasn't weathered much. So uh, if you do this, you just find find a document that you want, that you've already got, that you want to uh, to make it look old. And there's just a few steps. Hopefully I'll remember them all as we go along. First thing you do is you get your document, and then you go over to the, uh, the layers and double-click on that and just make it a layer of its own. I like to do that. That way it frees it up to do everything that you need to do. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to um, double click. I'm sorry, you don't need to double click on that. Uh, see, I told you. So the next thing you need to do is go up to image. And we're going to go up to image and click on adjustments and levels. Okay. And so what we want to do is we want to bring this left line, left point over like this, and that will brighten up or uh, increase the contrast of our document. If you notice, take a look at it as I slide this back and forth. It gets pretty dim there. It'd be hard to read. So uh, we'll be bring it up and make it a little harder to read. So that's the, that's the first thing we do. Now we've got that layer all ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is create a new layer. Go down at the bottom down here and click on create new layer and this layer we're going to fill with uh, an old color and I've got it probably all set up but let me tell you what you need to do here I've got the for old old newsprint you want to start out uh, I'll just put the numbers in here you want uh, 253 and then the, the uh, for the red and then the green you want to be 226 and for the blue, you want it to be 180. And that will give you, as you can see up here, that will give you an old look. And you can play with it. This is what I found works the best. Now what we want to do is we want to make it very, very light. So we're going to bring it way out here, uh, way, way out there, about to right there. And we'll click on OK. Now we're going to go over and get our uh, bucket, uh, our um, bu uh, paint bucket tool. And we're going to fill that up right there. So we click on it and it covers it up. Now we're going to double click. Now we're going to double click on a layer. We're going to double click on the layer that we just filled. And we're going to go into the layer style. And we're going to change the blend mode to darken. And you can see when you do that, uh, that the, the layer one or the layer zero begins to shine through. You can also change the opacity if you want to make it lighter. Uh, like if it's looking like it's coming out too dark, we'll just make it just a little bit lighter. Uh, so we'll click on that, and we've got that layer done. Now we have to make one more layer. We'll come down here, and that layer we're going to fill with uh, the the uh, same color, only we're going to darken it. So we'll go over here to our uh, color palette, and we're going to bring this down and to the right just a little bit, about like so. Okay? We get that filled, so we've got that, so we can fill it up. Now we're going to go over to our bucket again, and we're just going to fill up that uh, that page. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to make a mask. So we'll come down to the bottom here, and we'll click on the mask button and change that into a mask. Okay. Now if you'll notice over on the left, we've got the black and the white. And what we want to do is we want to erase everything we just put there. So we'll switch that over and we'll go up and you know, click on our brush. And we're going to make that brush as big as it can get so we can get this done quickly. We'll come over here and we just start erasing everything that we just put up there. So uh, it's about, that's about right. Okay. Now why do we erase it? Because we're going to put it back 
uh, the way we want it. So we'll go over here and we'll click this back to the white circle. And we're going to go around. Oh, we got to change the size of this too. So go up here and we'll set that to about 400, uh, maybe a little bit more, 450 or so. And we're going to go around the outside edge. We're not going to go into the uh, into the document. It's going to go around the outside edge. And uh, now we're putting our our darkness back in. And you notice also my opacity is around 75 percent, and my flows around 80 uh, percent, and that's important too. So now we'll come down here. And uh, you don't want to be, you don't want to try to be perfect because uh, fading and aging isn't perfect. So we come down around there like this, come across the bottom. And we've got an old document. Now, if you want to do something to, to uh, if you see some place where you don't like how it came out, like, for instance, we want to maybe just come across the corner a little bit on each of these. Um, and that one was too close. So I'm going to go back. And that one came in more than I wanted it to. So I'll switch to the to the black. And I'll just get rid of everything there. Switch back to the white. You can't do that unless you use a mask, you know. So, so now we got that done. And I think we've got it done. So we're going to go over here. We're going to save it. And we're going to look at it. We'll go save as, and we're going to call this, we're going to make it a ping, and we're going to call it, um, oh, let me see, i got to get the, uh, we'll call it demo. Oh, D-E-M-O. Okay, and we'll save it. And now we'll minimize this, and we'll go find demo in our scans that I've made. And uh, do, 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 do. there's demo right there. So that looks like quite a bit like an old document. Of course, you can change the amount of color that uh, that you need. And remember, the, the, the numbers that I use are red is 253, green is 226, and blue is 180. So if you've been looking for a way to make, uh, make a document look aged, I don't know of any other uh, YouTube videos that show this, but here's one more if there is. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.